Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, A Rewire Your Anxious Brain, a creation by Catherine M. Pittman and Elizabeth M. Carl. Rewire Your Anxious Brain, 2015, is a potent tool for conquering anxiety. Drawing on cutting-edge neuroscience research, it delineates the distinct brain regions that trigger anxiety and the unique strategies needed to address each. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Catherine M. Pittman, PhD, is a clinical psychologist and associate professor at St. Mary's College. She is a member of the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, ADAA, and conducts seminars and workshops on anxiety and stress. Elizabeth M. Carl, MLIS, is a librarian and researcher at St. Mary's College. She is the author of Hosting a Library Mystery and contributed her research and personal insights on anxiety to rewire your anxious brain. With five key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on StoryPlanet.net. To start, utilize neuroscience techniques to overcome anxiety and benefit from the results. Anxiety involves two types, one related to the amygdala for immediate responses like during a car accident and the other from the cortex for worry and rumination. Understanding these pathways in the brain can help manage anxiety effectively. Techniques like cognitive behavior therapy can target cortex-based anxiety effectively, but strategies specific to amygdala-related anxiety are needed as well. Long-term changes in the brain are possible to reduce anxiety. Key idea number one, the amygdala communicates emotional memories. The text discusses the role of the brain's amygdala in triggering anxiety responses as a protective mechanism against potential dangers by activating flight, fight, or freezer reactions through the release of hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. The amygdala, which is triggered by emotional memories, operates independently of logic or language and can override conscious thought, especially in moments of danger. Changing responses to anxiety involves reprogramming emotional memories rather than using logic or reasoning. Key idea number two, exposure therapy helps rewire anxiety triggered by the amygdala. Exposure therapy aims to reduce anxiety by creating new neural pathways through repeated exposure to triggers. By allowing anxiety responses to run their course without interruption, corrective information is sent to the amygdala. To manage anxiety during exposure, focus on physiological responses, deep breathing and muscle relaxation. Repetition of these techniques strengthens new pathways that compete with old fear-inducing ones. Key idea number three, the cortex generates anxiety-inducing thoughts and images. The cortex is the outer layer of the brain responsible for thinking and perceiving, while the amygdala deals with emotional responses like anxiety. Cortex-based anxiety can be triggered by sensory information or internal thoughts and images. Worry stems from anticipating negative outcomes and can deepen with rumination, leading to anxiety. Different types of thoughts like catastrophizing and perfectionism can also induce anxiety. Key idea number four. Change thought patterns to reduce anxiety stemming from the cortex. A high school senior named Jenny hesitates to open a college acceptance letter, fearing rejection, but discovers it's an offer of admission. The text introduces the concept of cognitive fusion, where thoughts are mistaken for reality. Strategies to reduce anxiety include developing skepticism towards worries, mindfulness, distraction from negative thoughts, and replacing them with positive coping thoughts, ultimately helping to change thought patterns and alleviate anxiety. In conclusion, anxiety can be generated in different parts of the brain. Amygdala-triggered anxiety affects the body directly and is not easily controlled consciously. Techniques to calm this anxiety include breathing exercises, muscle relaxation, meditation, and exercise. Rewiring amygdala responses involves exposing oneself to triggers and applying relaxation methods. 
cortex-induced anxiety results from negative thoughts and interpretations, activating the amygdala. Changing thought patterns through mindfulness, distraction, and positive thinking helps manage this type of anxiety. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories, and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.